first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Kadash. That is the name of the Heavenly Father, the name is only begotten Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. And Allah Shimon Kadash is the holy tongue, our original language, ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawadah, the house of David. I'm the brother Zion. Brother Yakalam. Brother Korab. And um, Lord's will, you know, we 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 it's we got we got a friend here, okay? He he he's infatuated with uh, uh, attempting to try to debunk, all right, the Bible, okay? And um, I I, I think I, the spirit jumped on me. I wanted to do this video, a video he did before, end up doing something else on another person who was trying to debunk the scriptures. And um, at first, your first like. You know, like, honestly, you, you look at his face and you just want to chop his head off. You know, you want to chop his neck off and you, you get mad, you get furious. And then you calm down and we do these lessons, we do them to edify, you know. But keep that in mind, man, that the time is going to be, um, the time is going to come in which we ain't going to be debating these things. We ain't going to be going back and forth with non-believers, you know. We're living in a time of judgment. And people that blaspheme the name of the Heavenly Father, you know, blaspheme the word of the Heavenly Father, his men, you know, y'all gonna y'all got stiff judgment to take, uh, to look forward to, you know? So I, I got a quick precept if you go ahead. Yep. Isaiah twenty nine, and I'm gonna start at verse nine. It says, Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. For the Lord, yeah, how about you now shall have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep? And have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered. Yeah, drunken, uh, but not with uh, wine, you know, not with, uh, uh, I don't know, um, barefoot or Moscato, mm -hmm. right? They're drunken with the philosophies of the ways of this world, all right, which is that, that tree of, of, of good and evil, you know, and they're, and they're tasting uh, from that forbidden fruit. All right, and it's just everything contrary towards the scripture, and it's really in the spirit of Satan. Satan going back to um, the adversary. They want to be adverse to the heavenly Father, so they're trying to debunk his word. All right, but the heavenly Father put a spirit of delusion on him. And when you look in the comments, you look at this kid. He is he's fucking completely delusional to the point that he believes that he's right. Right, he believes, and and, and all these guys come with the same sentiment. The Bible was written by man. You know, and then they'll go to another man-made written source to try to debunk the fact that the Bible was written by man. You know, all their sources come from man. And and on a carnal level, you don't got to be much spiritual to see that what this guy is saying is, is completely foolish. And through the spirit, um, we're going to debunk what he's trying to debunk. I got one more. Oh, oh I got one. This is verse 11. <coughs> and the vision of all is becoming to you as the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." And he says, "I cannot, for it is sealed." Yeah, beautiful. And um, you know, th this book is sealed, and he'll just get mad at the fact that we're saying that it's sealed and that he can't understand it, even though he he you you'll see he's gonna admit in it that the Bible is full of al al is filled with allegories and parables, and dark sayings, in which it is some things are not, some things are, you know, but. Um, Genesis, like this brother Krav said, is one of the hardest books to really uh, break down and understand, man. You know, one of the hardest books, and, and, and he's trying to wrestle with it, but he's he's completely overpowered, outmatched, okay? Quran, this is the book of Romans, 11 and 7. What then? Yashara have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Lord have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day and david saith let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down that they back away con so uh so without no further ado that scripture speaks for itself um let's let's listen to him i'll pause it and i'll play it and i'll try to go back this is a tiktok i'm video recording for my forms i don't know what this is at 144 but um i'll play it for my form these brothers have pulled some precepts and some definitions to uh to to clarify uh what this guy is saying people don't the back in the bible part one now christians always say read the bible you have to read the bible for yourself i actually try to um and first things first, right? You know, he, he mentions Christians, right? Um, you, you'll see that word Christian. I think it's, I think it's, um, I think.
think that word that, that word might be in the Bible in the New Testament twice or something like that. Um, in which you know what, what has happened is you know uh, Esau has taken starting with the Romans, all right, and, and even further you go to the Grecians who took actually portions of the scriptures. But nevertheless, uh, what, what, I'll, I'll put it like this: what the spirit of Satan has did has taken uh, parts of the scriptures. That they want to believe or that they, they, they want to subscribe to all right and, and made up a doctrine or made up a religion or made up a belief system based off snippets that's in the bible so really when you deal with the bible you, you're not dealing with a so-called religion you know mormonism is not in there catholicism is not in there baptist pentecostal or, or or whatever whatever you do you believe it's not in there the bible is a book of laws statutes commandments uh, judgments for breaking the laws uh, prophecies, um, do's and don'ts, uh, um, you know, uh, ancestry, and it's all based off of the Hebrew Israelites. So this this is a Hebrew Israelite book. It's not a Christian book. It's not a Mormon book. It's not a Catholic book. It's a Christian book. So oftentimes when you hear people talk about the Bible, for some reason, it, well, not for some reason, it's for a reason, but in this world, it's kind of, they, 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 it's synonymous with Christianity or so-called Christian when it shouldn't be. Come, I'm going to tell you in the book of Acts in 11 to um, back you up in 26. It says, and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Yeah, well, so when you go into the word Christians, it's um, Hamashiach in a, a Hebrew, uh, Christos in the Greek, which um, means to be anointed, to be blessed, followers of Yahweh So these people that you see in these churches or call themselves modern day Christians today, they're not followers of Yahweh whom you call Jesus Christ. So that's the first misconception that you have. And then once you understand that, um, once you understand that, things will become more clear, right? But go ahead. Let me go ahead. Let's go ahead. The first page was so debunkable. First line says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Don't say nothing about creating the universe. Nothing about creating other. So planets that's what i mean when i said so um this first stumbling block that he tripped on right was in the first bar of the scripture right because when you read it in the um in, in its original text it's the uh Allah, Allah, mm -hmm. all right which means the powers which is plural all right so in the beginning the the gods all right plural created the heavens and the earth and then he said it doesn't mention um the universe right mm -hmm. but when you look up the definition uh, for heavens, what do you got, brother? Yeah, so this is Genesis uh, uh, 1 and 1. I'm yep. going to read it. Go ahead, brother. Yep. Go into it. Do your thing. And it says, in the beginning, I'm going to read it. Uh, Verbatim? Yeah. It says, okay. in the beginning, God created the, the heavens. The Bible limits all knowledge on life. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, right? So when you go into the word heaven, and I guess when he read it in this book, it says heavens, which is plural, but even it goes into it. That's probably uh, not the King James that he's reading from, but when you go into the King James, it says the heaven, which is Shemayim, and it says uh, heaven, heavens, sky, visible heavens, sky, as a bold of the stars, as the visible universe, the sky, atmosphere, etc. Heaven as the abode of the Most High. So it's showing you that it even mentions the heaven consists of uh, 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 the, the clouds, uh, the sun. Uh, in that in that realm, that that just uh, anything that's uh, above, basically, you know, going into the universe, it mentions that, and it's also the dwelling place of the Most High. So he don't have the understanding of that. Why? Because the Scripture says, uh, uh, Amos three and seven, that the Lord reveals the secrets unto the servants, the prophets. They don't understand that the, uh, the, the look into words, see what these words mean, uh, and, 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 and that it was written in different languages. Uh, so you have to go into these words, man. Right, and and and, and what's the proof of that is he has a snippet. Of looking up words and looking up things because you're gonna see that he's gonna go into it, and, and and but he's completely lost. He's tripping without a road map, you know, no GPS whatsoever. He's winging it because um um I was about to say I lost my train of thought. I guess in that gross darkness, I have a precept real quick to back you up. This is um um Nehemiah nine and six. It says, "Though even though our Lord alone, Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens." With all their hosts, the earth and all things that are th therein, the seas and all that is therein, and thou preserveth them all, and the host of heaven worship thee. Mind you, he said the heaven of heavens, you know, going into the universe. So when you, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, 
the elder apostles has taught us to do what? To uh, look up words, the etymology of Gia words, but also to look it up in its proper context because uh, knowing uh, the translations, it's important to know that, you know, the, the new, uh, uh, the so-called New Testament is translated from the Greek and the Old Testament is translated from the Hebrew. So looking up words in the Hebrew and then going deeper into those words and then like the scripture says, precept upon precept, line upon line, what the scripture says, study to show yourself approved. So you would have never stumbled off the first, uh, um, uh, first, first priest verse, verse in, the, in the Bible yeah. if you would have done that, you know? And then you got to humble yourself down to be able to receive it. You got to be able to be like, yeah, okay, I didn't look that word up. I apologize about that. And then, and then, but, but will you do that? It remains to be seen, right? I got, I got a little bit more. This yep. is a Strong's definition, right? Yep. And it says, um, uh, it says, uh, from the unused root meaning to be lofty, it says the sky as a loft, the dual perhaps alluding to the visible arch in the in which the clouds move, as well as to the higher ether where the celestial bodies revolves, air, astrologers, heavens. So once again, it's going into it's, it's speaking of the universe, man. We talk about the celestial body. Let's talk about the stars, you know, and everything else uh, in, in, in that in that that abodes, that abodes, in that abodes. Yeah. All right, so let's continue, on, my friend. Hopefully, we gave you some understanding on the first uh, bar in in, in in scriptures, right? Because now y'all only think it's a heaven and the earth. Really, Christians out here that think the universe don't exist. I'm the type of people I don't even argue with. Now we got, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Only Only prophet. Going, he's basically going into how those certain letters didn't exist. Yeah, but why is that? about creating the universe nothing about creating other planets that's what i mean when i say the bible the book in the bible part one now christians always say read the bible you have to read the bible for yourself i actually tried to the first page was so debunkable first line says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth I don't say nothing about creating the universe nothing about creating other planets that's what i mean when i say the bible limits your knowledge on life because now you only think it's a heaven and the earth really christians out here that think the universe don't exist i'm the type of people i don't even argue with now we got then god said let there be light and there was light only problem with that is the letters that god used was made in 1700 bc he's saying words that wasn't even made yet let me guess god is all knowing okay well think about this you had a baby and just left him in the woods to grow up by himself you think he'll be using any language how would he know how to talk you was taught all right so let's deal with that let me guess god is all knowing okay well think about this he's saying words that wasn't even made yet let me guess god is all knowing okay well 1700 bc He's saying words that wasn't even made. So the Lord said, let there be light. And he's saying, <laughs> Flocky, this is, this is real silly. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> he's saying, he's going into, uh, what, what? oh, man. I got, I got the precept. Bro. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Genesis 1 and 3. And it says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. All right. First of all, what you need to understand is that, that God is a Hebrew, right? His son is a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. He's spoken Hebrew. All right, so uh, what this was transferred into or whatever language you looked up or whatever language you thought or you was told that the Bible was written in it, that that God spoke, you know, it, it, where you get your sources from? You get your sources from Google, all right, which is also a man-made source, but then you try to discredit the Bible as being a man-made source, but that's where you pull your information from, you know, and it's false information. Yeah. Let me guess. God is all knowing. Okay. Well, think about this. I you mean, had you a... don't have to guess if God is all knowing. God is. You can. Uh, you know. You don't have to doubt the fact that He's all knowing. Yes, He is all knowing. Right. Baby, and just left him in the woods to grow up by himself. You think he'll be using any language? How would he know how to talk? You was taught English. I mean, and then and then you, you said if you left a baby in the woods, do you think he would learn? But God was in communication with me. Yeah. So you, that, that analogy can be uh, applied to the situation for the simple fact that when you read the book of, of Genesis, you know, the Lord was in communication with man. Mm -hmm. He told man uh, what to do. He told him basically, you know, how to fish, taught him how to, uh, you know, plant trees and, and things of that nature. You know, he told him what this was and what this and what not to do. You know, he told you from this tree you can eat. So he was in communication with Adam. So that analogy that you use 
You cannot apply that. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even it doesn't even fit. That's right. It was taught language. You're not naturally supposed to be using words to talk. Words are the lowest vibrational form of communication. We use to communicate telepathically. Why is God using words to create light? Think about how we the only now when you understand what the what what a word is and how important the word is. Look up the definition of sound for me real quick. I got you. Got it, uh, you got it, Carl? If you got it, you yeah, I got it right here. Right. Read it. Sound is um, vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach a person or animal's ear. You see, a, so a sound is a vibration, first and foremost. So even when you're talking about the, the telepathic communication that people use, it has to be a, a vibration that has to be pushed from, uh, from my brain in order to somebody else's brain. So sound is way more than what you think that it is. It's a vibration that's being pushed. Like we always say, once that thought gets into your brain, that that, that then 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 you're able to say it. You're pushing a vibration, all right, and, and things manifest, all right. They call it um the uh, the image of sound, okay? Frequencies, Frequencies mm -hmm. right? Which is a vibration. Which this, these are how things are created, man. Yeah, man was created to even receive uh, frequencies to, to to interact. You know what I'm saying? So. He just, yeah, man, once again, he ain't got it all, man. Yeah, you got ears for what? Yeah. <laughs> for a reason, my man. So that you can hear a sound. And what you go into even deeper is the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell you in the book of Genesis that the spirit, look up the definition of spirit. And it'll tell you that the spirit moved through the waters. Call knocking. As he gets at it, tell, it shows you in the book of Genesis 2 and um, 19 how it says, And out of the ground the Lord... Our power formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. Yeah, just so see what he would call them. Yeah. So so he's in communication. He didn't just leave a baby, you know what I'm saying, in the goddamn jungle and then, oh, how did you speak? Like, come on, man. You, you I would say you're smarter than this, but apparently you're not, man. Right. You got the definition yeah, of spirit? I got, I got the definition for spirit. This is on um, Google. It says, uh, it's three of them. Uh, it says, uh, the non-physical part of a person, which is is the seat of emotion, character, the soul. It also says, those qualities regarding as forming the, the, the definitive or typical elements in the person, in the character of a person. Yeah, the forming, the forming of something, man. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead. It says, uh, character of a person, nation, or group, or in the thought and attitude of a particular period. You see, in the thought of something is, 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 is before is, you can actually say something. Then the saying of it is actual the vibration of it, and the vibration is, is what you see, man. Even, and it, go ahead. So locking, not to cut you off. Even the, the spirit is also referenced to as wind. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what the wind. Mm -hmm. We look up the definition of wind. It's also something that you you can't see, but it's something that you can feel. Yeah, exactly. And and it goes into what the spiritual aspect of it. So the sound is a vibration, bro. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I just seen this um, this study that they had uh, they had these kids record some like negative words, um, you know you're ugly, you know you're not gonna win, you're a loser, and and, and they, they 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 had two of the same plants, they gave it the same sunlight, the same um, water, you know, and the other one was just good recordings, you're beautiful, you're gonna grow, you're gonna be healthy, you're gonna be happy, and then you look in two weeks later, the the plant. Of that received the bad things, it was drooping, it was dying, and the other plant was alive, right? Proving that there's uh there's 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 um a vibration to sound. Mm -hmm. Another incidence, all right, a video that I've seen is when you when you have a um you have what's called the uh, the incense. The lady light the incense, and then she played a certain amount of music, and you can see the the movements, all right, uh, from the incense, all right, was different compared to when she played uh, like rap music mm -hmm. and. And, and fucked up, which one called? Because of the vibration, man. Right. All right? Come on, this is the book of Genesis 2 and 7. It says, And the Lord, our, our power, formed man of dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. You see, it says it blew it, it, blew it, uh, it, blew it in, into the man, right? What? The breath of life, man. Once again, that wind. When you breathe, you're inhaling, exhaling. That's wind going through your body, right? But also, it's showing you that what? That is also referred to as the spirit because uh, uh, that Adam was made a living soul, you know. And also that goes into the understanding when you really get deeper into it, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the uh, Yahweh Hashem But that's too heavy for him. Yeah, the laws, the statutes, yep. right? That's the wind. That's life, identity. Mm -hmm. That's why in, in, in Ezekiel the thirty-seven chapter, when it says uh, in the, uh, when it's speaking about the valley of the dry bones, 
He said, um... I got you, I got you. Um, this is Ezekiel 37 to 1. It says, And the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And, and this is another... Uh, this is the Lord communicating with uh, uh, Ezekiel, right? It says, And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, Yahweh, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, right? Now, now, oh, you want to go speak on that? No, no, go ahead. Go no, ahead. now, 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 it's crazy because, now, this was another analogy, right? This was another uh, metaphor. And what, what the dry bones were for metaphors were for people like you. People with absolutely no understanding whatsoever of the scriptures, right? You are in a dead state. Why? Because... You don't know your nationality. I bet you don't know your nationality. You probably shave your ear off. You don't know the law. You won't follow the laws. You get what I'm saying? You, you don't know nothing. You probably think that you're black or Asiatic black man. Asiatic goes back to a white man. African goes back to another white man. You probably say that you're what? African. Whatever you say you are, you don't know who you come from. You don't know what languages. You don't know. You're the dead person that this scripture is talking about, right? And it's going to say something. Go ahead, bro. This is verse off. Uh... Uh, verse 5 it says thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto these bones it says behold I will cause breath to enter into you and yeah. you shall live that's the breath the breath we, we're trying to we're trying to give you CPR through the spirit right now man we're trying to revive you through the spirit we're trying to revive you right and the breath is going into all all, all, all the things that the head of apostles has taught in us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shai. go ahead bro Verse 6 And I will lay sinew upon you And will bring up flesh upon you And cover you with skin And put breath in you And ye shall live Hey, that's an identity, man That's the Lord putting an identity on you Hebrew, Israelite An identity Alright, and your living is, is, is going into what? Moses said, choose ye this day Life or death So when you choose the law You're choosing life But when you choose not to follow the law You're just dead, man Right. And it says, and you shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Okay. Right? Yep. So even that, he don't even understand the concept of the Heavenly Father. All right. That's the purpose of him trying to debunk it. He probably prayed to the universe. Right. Know? Right. Right. He probably, prayed to the <laughs> right. He probably right. Uh, don't even uh, understand that the Heavenly Father has a name. <laughs> you know, and His only begotten Son. He don't know the true name. Um, you can jump back. I was going to be on Jeremiah oh, 4 and 22 oh, real quick. Oh, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sordid children. And they have none understanding. That's right. They have no understanding. Why? Because they try to lean upon their own little, uh, their own, uh, 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 understanding. Like the scripture says, lean not into their own understanding. Or what Esau had provided them. The species that right. use words to commit. Stop it. They so, they so, they so worked up on, oh, the Bible was made by man and it was made by the white man. Okay. The point Everybody they don't understand that the scriptures condemn them, all right? Uh -huh. But they don't see, once again, that's being sleep, all right? The Lord had left us the records uh, for, for a reason. It's a reason why this book is still here and it's still existing, and the prophecies in these books is happening, all right? Because it's a living book. Con. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the book of Proverbs 3 and 5 to back up, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. That's right, so you gotta tread on, uh, you gotta tread lightly when you're dealing with the scriptures, man. You say the wrong things, hey man, you can get jacked up for it. You know, trying to say, uh, 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 um, you know, if, you know, when the video he's going into, um, how do you know if, if God's a heat? You know, it's touching on things like that. Hey man, like you don't know what uh, what you're doing with yourself, man, because you can ultimately uh, destroy yourself by speaking. That's what says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Right. All right. I went one real quick. Yep. Uh, Second Peter chapter two verse twenty one. Uh, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by holy men of the Most High. Uh, I'm going to read it verbatim. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So it's not just men. It's, it's, it's holy men that uh, wrote this book, that wrote down these prophecies, man. And you can't just negate that and write that off and then go to the so-called white man's source and, 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 and run with whatever he say. Come on, we got to do better, Israel. Let me, let's finish off with this. It's telepathically, just like we did, but now we're cut off from our abilities. See, that's what I mean when I say the Bible is man-made because they And he talks about his telepathical communication, but who are you telepathically communicating with? <laughs> Every day you talk, you use the same language that you forbidden us to do, but you, 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 who are you telling? Come on, man.
Get serious, man. Saying that God said words that we use. Use words to help each other comprehend. This is the book of I'm about to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this case, the Lord shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's what's happened, man. They, uh, you know, that delusion has taken a hold of them, man. All right? That's a madman speaking. That's a crazy man right there speaking. All right? He don't think so. But, hey, man, to those that uh, that have the eye south, we see it and we know it. All right? Because he's just talking. Uh, he's just running his mouth. He's just talking just to talk. He wants to seem uh, like he knows something. Like the scripture said, if a man seems to know something and he doesn't, yeah. now we got uh, basically he's a fool, man. All right. All right. All right. This is why the book of Matthew 13 and 16 tells you, well, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear because... Man, you can't imagine the people that's liking that shit and commenting on that shit and by our leaving in that. You know, the Lord didn't give them the eyes to see or the ears to hear. Right. I mean, keep the two on. Caught the light day and the darkness he called night. The letter N was created in the ninth century. This is before humans was made. He was retarded. He went to the to English dictionary and said the letter N was made in the nineteenth century. This book is written way before. Then he's gonna actually contradict himself and cut himself. Uh, a little bit later on, right? Why is he using human language to create this shit? Now we got so God created man in his own. And that's why we call it the Lashawan Kadash because the language that we use is a holy tongue, all right? Given from who? The Heavenly Father. When you go into the, bot, the uh, Tower of Babel, it was the Most High who scrambled up the languages. He's in control of all this, man. Amen. God created man in his own image. How can God be a man before he even created man? Actually, think about that. You're so programmed that you automatically perceive God to... How could God be a man before he even created man? Well, I mean... I, I mean... <laughs> you want to know why? Because he's been lied to that life comes from the woman. So he can't even grasp the idea that, you know, the, 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 the Lord is all powerful. It's that whole argument with what came first, the fucking chicken or the egg. It's this dude's the, the uh, illusional. You could just tell. You got that woman spirit on him. Be a man. But think about if he created men, then who is he? How is he a he? You know what y'all tend to do a lot? I like to talk about me instead of actually giving me facts. Are oh, you so dumb? You're so lost. I'm going to pray for you. Answer my fucking question. What it's so hard not to call you dumb, my man, because, you know, give me that scripture, man. A man, a man seems to be wise, but he you know nothing. Uh, I have the book of Genesis as well, if we want to, um, go ahead. want to bring that out to as well um should i start this is the book of genesis one and let's get right to it 26 because he brought it out and i'm gonna read it verbatim and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and all of and 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 over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man in his own image and the image of god created he him male and female created he them Go ahead, oh no just just uh, showing you i was actually going to go up to where he said how when um adam he put adam into a sleep and then he had took his rib and created a woman showing you that that's when the woman was created but even though like the, the name or the title for the heavenly father is the heaven once again it's the heavenly father all right why is he called the heavenly father all right it's because he's a progenitor he's a creator all right, you have to you have to be a creator in order to create something. Right. All right. That's why the Big Bang theory is out the window, man. That's 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 foolishness because uh, uh, you can't have nothing to create nothing. Uh, right. Something. You know, zero, it has zero to, right? plus zero is equal zero. That's simple math. The 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 the, the, the um the messed up part about it is is that the the beginning is that. Yeah, the beginning, beginning of knowledge, according to the scriptures, is what the fear of the heavenly Father. Right. But the beginning of it all for us is the simple fact of understanding. Uh, Yahweh has no beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, He always was, mm -hmm. and then once you can wrap your, your 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 mind around the fact that He always was, He has no beginning. He has no creator. Nobody created Him. Um, nobody made Him. He is before everything. Time has a beginning why because time is not the creator mm -hmm. so time the actual time has a beginning everything else alpha that's why Yahweh Shai his son is the alpha and the omega because he's the first thing created by him and the last thing created by him nevertheless but but people can't understand 
that concept. And, and, and this is the reason why they think of things like this. Who created God? Well, or who was the person who created God? Well, who, who created that? Who's, who's God's mother and father? And then the person of God's mother and father. See, they look at it. They try to wrap that most high in that in that uh, that realm, and you can't. The only thing the only thing that makes sense is one, all right, times x. Uh, one times x equals x, which is a number mm -hmm. that's that, that's innumerable that can't be yeah. um, uh, uh, confounded. But the other aspect is zero plus zero equals two. You know, that's the Big Bang theory. It doesn't make no sense, man. It always had to have been something. That, that 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 created this everything that you see, yes, and that's the logical aspect of it. Yep. Uh, First Corinthians three and um, eighteen. It says, "Let no man deceive." They said, "Let no man deceive himself. Any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise." Yeah, yeah. This man has he, he, and again, like you say, you know, he probably got comments. Yeah, man, you right. Da da da. Because they can't grasp it. Their, uh, their heads around what's being written according to the Bible. So that's why they try to debunk it. Mm -hmm. Shows you they, they stray away from the scriptures with uh, so much that they don't even understand the scripture talks about not even thinking upon or messing with certain things that's yeah, far above your understanding. Right. All right, that's written in the scriptures for a reason. All right. Right. You got it? Yep, yep. Con, this is the book of Second Ezra, uh, 4, and I'm going to start it run. And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, gave me an answer. And said, Thy heart hath gone too far in this world, and thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High? Go on. Um, then said I, Yea, my Lord, and he answered me. Your and heart, your lahab, your mind has gone way too far trying to dig deep and trying to understand things that you just don't understand, and you bug yourself the hell out. Go ahead. Call on and say, Hey, the angel, because as was asking the angels questions concerning the mysteries of the Heavenly Father. And the angel had to slow Ezra down and like, look, man, slow down, young buck. You know, you're doing too much. You're, you're, you only, you, we only use half of our brains and the half that we've been given to, for Heavenly Father to use. We don't even use that, you know? So we're not there yet, man. You know, we're not there yet. We haven't even figured out everything earthly on this side. All right, there's so much knowledge. There's so much things to explore on this earth for you to be trying to go up into the heavens and understand the things of the universe. It's too much for you. The scriptures say that. Give me that real quick. If you can understand earthly things... I got you. Let me just finish this up. This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Right? Con. But you said, um, what was the priest of your call? Um, John. Yeah, man, I got him. Um, okay. John 3 and 12. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Yeah, you don't even, you don't even understand everything concerning this earth, but you're trying to bypass this earth's knowledge and then skip to the heavenly things which you don't understand because the simple fact that you you stumbled over the first uh, bar in, in the scriptures where it talked about the heavens but you want to say that that negates the universe when it is talking about the universe Con well, in it. go ahead Connor says and no man have ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven gone now go back to the book of second Ezra the fourth chapter Bubba Kasha. yep this is second Ezra 4 and in verse 3 then said I, yea, my Lord, and he answered me and said, I am sent to show thee three ways and to set forth three similitudes before thee. Whereof if thou um, canst declare me one, I will show thee also the way that thou desireth to see, and I shall show thee from whence the wicked heart cometh. Yep. And I said, uh, tell on my Lord. Then said he unto me, go thy way, weigh me the weight of the fire. Yeah, weigh the, the weight of fire. Do you know the weight of fire, my man? Can you can you wait? Uh, 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 was it uh, hell chosen? Rail chosen? Can you you know the measurement of fire? Or measure me the blast of wind? You know the blast of wind? Can you, you can you tell the image of wind? Can you tell the image? Can you write the? Can you draw the image of sound? Go ahead. Or call me again the day that is past. Yeah. Can you um uh, 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 turn the clock backwards? Can you do that? All right. Can you can you can you uh instead of aging, can you bring back your youth? You know, can you go back in, in time? Can you do that? Go ahead. Then answered I and said, what man is able to do that, that thou shouldest ask such things of me? And he said unto me, if I should ask thee how great dwellings are in the midst of the sea, or how many springs are in the beginning of the deep, or how many springs are above the ferment, or which are the outgoings of paradise? Preadventure thou wouldest say unto me, I never went down into the deep, nor as yet into hell, neither did I ever climb up into heaven. Nevertheless, now have I asked thee, but only of the fire and wind, 
and of the day wherethrough thou hast passed, and of these things which thou cannot be separated, and ye cannot thou givest me no answer of them. Yeah, you can't answer the things that's of this world that you could, you could, you, that you could explore. You know, but you trying to you trying to get about you trying to talk about the heavens and the spiritual aspect and the languages and the telekinesis and the telepathies and and you trying to debunk the Bible. You can't even you can't you probably can't even get out of your mother's uh, apartment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jake don't even understand how their own body works. Yeah. Right, and right, they right. Pork, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They right. Pork, but they understand, they understand that's yeah. poison you're putting in the body. Yeah, so you go outside and get a catch a cold, and you get to talking about. You know what I'm saying? You get you 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 go outside with a mask on, and you try and debunk the heavenly yeah. Father. Eat McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and it says right here. Then then said I unto him. It were better, no, 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 sorry. How should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest and the world being now outwardly corrupted to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight? Yeah, you can't even understand, like you said, you can't even master your own body. You can't even get out your mother's house, bro. You know? And you, 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 you call yourself debunking the Bible, man. You gotta, you gotta humble down. You gotta slow down. So let me, let me let it finish out and then we're gonna close it out. It's got a heat. Why is he a man? This goes over all y'all Christians head. He said that because the Bible demonizes women. The top creator who created everything was a man. Get back into the story. On the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day. That's important because Numbers was invented by 4000 BC by humans. Numbers was invented by 4000 BC by humans. Don't even no. know. Oh, don't? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to close Too it out right man. there. Yeah. Hey, man. So. I could have continued on, but we went on for you know 36 minutes, almost 40 minutes with this with this guy. I feel that we brought enough information that was edifying to the flock to denote this is this guy. You don't be like this guy, man. We gotta stick to a standard, man. That that's the problem with the world. The world doesn't stick to a standard, man. They move the goalposts, they switch things around, and once we all could hold each other to a same to the same standard, that's when we could um that's when things is gonna be able to be. Ju righteous judgment will go forth, all right? Righteous judgment will only go forth, but once you move the goalposts and you switch up and you do this, and you go all over the place and following different winds of doctrines and different peoples, and it's nothing but chaos and confusion. That when you follow, it's not the author of confusion. It's the author of a sound mind. That word sober basically goes back to being um, uh, stable, stable-minded, stable in the spirit, you know, assured. Like you're unassured because you're confused. Mm -hmm. You think, yeah, well, what if he's a woman? What if he questioning and everything when it's all there for you, you know? All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, 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 by Hashem